Hi everybody, it's Nicole. Welcome back to my channel. I am back today with another project for the Vicky Booten design team. Today I really wanted to make use of more of my scraps of the Color Study collection. I have tons and I don't want anything to go to waste. So I thought I would use just some tiny little strips here to create some weaving for my project. I thought that the colors in this collection would they all kind of go together because they have the same saturation. So I've just gone ahead, cut out, as you can see, varying strips. They're all about a quarter of an inch. I didn't really measure too much, but they're all around a quarter of an inch. I do think it would look kind of cool, this technique, if you varied the sizes of the thickness of the strips. That would be also cool. But for this, I'm using all quarter inch strips. And you can see I'm really just weaving one of kind of each color of the different pattern papers um, in and out. Just like in kindergarten, we learned to do over and under. I'm doing some vertically and some horizontally. Um, just starting my woven kind of pattern from the middle. Now what I intend to do here is I don't want to make it super tight. Um, so you can definitely leave gaps in between your paper should you choose. But I do want it to be fairly tight together. I am going to back this on some cardstock and then trim it down a bit later. Um, so I don't want too many gaps in my design, but you can absolutely uh, change it up however you prefer. Uh, so again, I'm just trying to really make sure that I'm using a variety of different colors um, and patterns. I don't want to have too many of the same in one area. So I'm kind of working my way through each of the different strips there and just placing them whether it's the top row or along the middle there, up and down um, across my design. At some point though, this does become, I don't want to say tedious, but it gets to be difficult to keep everything kind of straight and even. So if that's going to bother you, you could definitely um, mount some of this, the center on a piece of cardstock to kind of hold it and give it some firmness or even a temporary tape to the back of the middle um, onto your work surface and then peel it off from there. But so I kind of have my finished area that I want. I don't want it to be too big. I am going to cut this down, but I am going to stick that to cardstock now just to finish off the ends. I did feel like things were wiggling just a little bit too much for me. So I just used a uh, piece of cheap white cardstock that I had, and I'm just going to do my weaving here. I didn't adhere the ends down so that I do have some flexibility of where I put the additional strips. I am trying to snug things kind of as I go. You can see I'm going to go ahead and just tape down the ends now and uh, really kind of just snug everything in as I like it. So that's kind of my finished off design. I decide now to just trim it down to even off the edges so I can kind of get it to a square. And then from there, I'm actually going to cut the square into a couple different pieces. Um, this would actually look super cool, I thought of after the fact, um, to kind of back it behind a circle or a shape um, cut file. I thought about mixing this with the mixed media backgrounds, but decided against it because I just thought it might be just too busy. So instead, I thought I'll just cut these this placemat here into four separate pieces. So I'm going to just evenly cut them on my trimmer and I'm pulling off any extra little kind of pieces there um, so that I have more of a woven I like to think of it as like a placemat for my table. So any tiny little strips there so that there's kind of like fringed, almost like a fringed edge around the outside. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then I'm gonna go through and pull off any of the pieces that allow me to kind of make that fringed end. And you can see some of my pieces were falling off. So I just tuck those really easily back in place and I'll get those set properly later when I adhere them to the page. So it's ripping some of the pieces off. You could definitely do this um, with a smaller piece of cardstock four times. I just felt like this was easier for me to do one big piece and trim it down. Um, I ended up doing a little bit of a haircut here on the back side of that cardstock because some of the pieces you could see the white through, some of them you couldn't. And so I was just trimming things down slightly. So I got that kind of fringed looking almost overhang on each of the, the four square mats there. And again, my green piece fell out another time. So I'll tuck that in for the second, probably third time. So I'm going to go ahead, just do a bit of a cleanup for all four of the pieces and get those the way I would like them. And they're all relatively the same size and they all look kind of the same, but slightly different. I'm going to pop these with foam adhesive now onto my project. Initially, I thought about doing just like a basic grid shape for the design of my page. Um, so I, you know, lay them out into four corners, but then I kind of decided that's kind of boring. Um, and I 
kind of like playing around with where they go. So I am going to play around using them in a bit of a haphazard pattern, I'm going to call it. So I am going to adhere each of these. I mean, I adhere three at first, three of the different mats onto my page, kind of so that the overhang, I will trim off that excess shortly. Um, and I'm going to adhere all that with the foam, kind of just lining that up. Um, where my kind of where my photo is going to go. I am lining up the lines in the woven pattern for the top that top and bottom one there on the right side just so it kind of lines up nicely and I'm going to add my photo and then trim off all this excess. Um, I don't throw away a lot of it though. I end up using most of these placemats so don't fear that I've done all this work and I'm not using it all because I do end up using most of it in the end because sometimes I do something like this and then I only use a small piece fear not I'll use most of that I will use that fourth placemat shortly I am going to go in now with one of the titles in the ephemera pack because I feel like this just works with the photo and it's a nice black color that fits nicely with all the different colors going on in the project so I will use that I do love this Instagram ish kind of photo camera so I am going to add the green and the good thing about using like mixing the patterns like this is you have a lot of different color varieties so you can virtually add anything you want you don't really need to worry about if things are going to match too much because everything will match i am adding some ink from my stash to the background just to kind of soften up the white a little bit and then i thought that these circle pie charts from the vellum would be nice um, to add just a little bit of circular element so everything's not quite so square um, and I'm going to scatter those around my photo and onto the project. So I'm going to fussy cut probably before five of them. I, I like to keep an uneven number. Just helps with balancing things out. Sometimes if it's all too equal, it looks a little funny. I'm going to just scatter these in around my title, in around those um, placemats, just to kind of have everything kind of flow nicely together. I thought about only using the medium and the small circles, but quickly realized I wanted to add a large one. So I'm gonna rip this one off here and move it somewhere else. I think that large one fits in nicer where I've got it now. And just gonna, I tuck these onto my page with a 3D glue dot. I find that you can kind of see the glue dot from the back of the vellum, but it hides, it sticks really well. And um, it doesn't bother me that you can see that through the vellum most people it might but for me it doesn't you could also alternatively run it through uh, Xyron X if you have one of those that's another good way to adhere the vellum to your page I'm just going to tuck this last little pie piece here and here and that's it for that a few more little black droplets these ones a little bit bigger and now I'm trying to figure out what to do with the rest of the open area on my page which may not seem like a lot but there's still quite a bit of open space I'm trying to avoid fussy cutting any florals for this page because I feel like I've been doing that a lot of that lately and I'm trying to not do that. So I decided to use the rest of my other little placemat here. So I am trimming down one piece into two smaller pieces and I'm just adhering that along the top there. And then I'm gonna do another one into that bottom open area just to fill in that other section. Um, and then what was kind of bothering me, which probably wouldn't bother most people, was that some of that fringed area that I intentionally left open um, was sticking up or some of them weren't sticking down well. So I will go back later, <clears throat> excuse me, and add some uh, foam adhesive behind those smaller pieces just to kind of keep them in place so they don't wiggle. I'm using a little bit of that washi tape from Color Study underneath that ephemera just to kind of fill in that gap there. I am gonna take this floral one and rip it down the middle so I have like a nice kind of rougher edge and then line that up underneath that black text washi. I think that kind of fills in that space fairly nicely. Uh, and I'm going to dig through my sticker stash now and see what other stickers I might be able to add, other bits of ephemera. I do want to use some of these puffy circle stickers. They're great in use of instead of an enamel type of dot. So I am going to stick a few of those down here random differently colors where I think you need a pop of green in one area I put a pop of green thought about using an arrow but I thought there's just too much going on already so I'm gonna pass that and I'm just trying to figure out else what else this page needs a little heart or circle to the center of the camera I think is pretty much my final touch and here's how it all came together so I really love the woven thing I think I will definitely use this for my scraps I think it would be great on 
the front of a card. And I, I honestly just love Vicky's handwriting in this ephemera packs. To me, it's some of the best titles that you can find out there. So when given the choice, you should always use one. Um, so I hope you like.